what's popping youtube it's your girl lani as me and i'm back at it with another video say hi to donovan y'all say hi to donovan's mom as well her name's desiree <sighs> today on this adulting series uh i am going to talk about some of the struggle meals i have been making myself what's it called in order to budget my money better so that you know your girl can afford to eat every day and not just some of the days yeah so today let's talk about these salmon patties and that rice mm. so this meal my grandma well my grandma taught me how to make salmon patties um four dollars a can rice um i like to get the 15 pound 20 pound bag for like 10 15 dollars because rice is one of them things that like it stretches rice stretches it's a great filler and carbs are great for filling if you are like me and you don't mind eating carbs there are people who just don't want to eat carbs but yeah so basically right here's how i do this so me as well as my grandma just hate salmon patties with like breading and stuff in them so we don't use that most people believe that they need breading in order to make it like stick together but i'm here to tell you that you don't okay you do not need that at all um i'm also gonna take off my ring because this gets messy i'm gonna need a bowl a can opener a pot for the rice and a pan to cook the patties in I'm gonna use these back two eyes since they're already in the camera. Boom, drain the juice. I was just confused as to where my ring went. I just took it off. Um, Salmon patties have quite a fishy smell. Boom, so this is what your salmon gonna look like when it come out, real, uh, real yuck. Guess what, babe? There are bones in here, so actually before we get to picking out our bones we need to go ahead and put our rice on the stove because that takes 20 minutes to cook all right boom so we're cooking the basmati rice today typically i make jasmine rice but we got basmati because that's just the rice i had in the cabinet on the back it gives you directions on how to cook it i'm gonna make one cup of rice therefore i'm gonna need one and three fourths cup of water here is the trick about making good rice okay here's the trick of making good rice in order to make good rice you put the exact measurements of water you put the rice in the pot and you do not open the lid <laughs> don't touch it the rice and the water is in the pot leave it there close the lid let it go that is all you need to do measure out the appropriate amount of water put the appropriate amount of rice do not touch the pot boom Great rice, amazing rice. You have rice fit for an Asian. So I got my one cup and then I gotta do three fourths. Here's my one fourth cup. One, two, three. Basmati is a naturally harder rice, therefore it takes more water than say jasmine rice would. Jasmine rice is a naturally softer rice, so it it only takes about one and a half cups of water. Now, before we put the rice in the water, we're gonna let it boil. We're gonna let the water get hot, you feel me? Once the water boils, we're gonna put our one cup of rice inside our water. While we're working on that, we got this to handle. I threw my can away. Don't throw your can away. Don't throw your can away because your can is where you about to put all these bones. I can hear that already ready to be be ready so i'm gonna just i'm gonna get the wet one and i'm gonna dry it out all right bet so here we go we got our our this a thing and i'm just gonna bust it open Boom. some bones then already fell out the bones look like these little things right here this is the spine and we're just gonna put those in the can as we yeah do this yep yeah, just a finger Camera's on this side. Stop. 
Get out. <laughs> you went from okay to doing the most very quickly. Do not try to finger shoot me. Dre. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, this is a good piece. It shows you exactly what it looked like. That's the spine. Ew. I'm just going to literally scrape that bad boy out. And that's what it left me with. There's also these little um, needle-like bones. Oh, shit. They be stuck in there. You just got to get them all out. I also like to take out some pieces of the skin because they just be slimy. I'm weird and I just I just don't like them. All right, boom. So now that our water is boiling, I got my cup of rice. I'm pouring that in there. I'm gonna shift it around so that all the rice is just in there. Close it. And I'm going to reduce the heat to in between the one and the two, closer to the two. Okay. The reducing of the heat is the most important part. I swear it is. You got to reduce your heat, y'all. Woo! Another good spine. Look at that spine. So we've gotten all the bones out of the meat. This is what the meat's looking like. Got all the bones out. Next step, we're gonna need eggs and seasoning. We are done with this can and these bones. Got my eggs. You can season it however you want to season it. However, me, I think I'm gonna do Old Bay. Onion powder, garlic powder. I'll, I'll do garlic salt, pepper. Oh, and then um, that salt-free saison seasoning. Ooh, the rice is already getting naturally fragrant. <laughs> okay, boom, I'm gonna use some of this salt-free dash. For every can, I do two eggs, no matter what. My grandma kind of eyeballs it based on how much meat is in the can. I don't care. All cans deserve two eggs. My trusty assistant is amazing. All right, I put my eggs in. I'm finna do the black person way of seasoning. I basically just try and make sure it's a good little coating of each seasoning on top of the meat. Like, I, don't, I really don't. It's just the eyeball method. Yes, that much seasoning. <laughs> I feel like onion powder and garlic powder are just seasonings that belong on everything because they're just like necessities, I think, in my mind. Now the garlic salt, I'm gonna be very light handed with cause we don't need that much salt. A little heavy with the pepper and some dashes of Old Bay. All right. This is what my seasoned meat looks like. You feel me? Now we're just gonna, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, no, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, it just feels so wrong. Yeah, so I'm gonna just go ahead and mash that up real good. It looks super wet at first, but just, just keep mashing, I promise you. I promise you, you're gonna get to the consistency. You gotta really get in there and break apart all the little chunks of salmon. I make four patties out of one can. I feel like that's like a good like size patty. But if you want smaller patties, you can make up to eight out of a can before you're just being unrealistic. Get you some butter, butter your pan. You need you some butter in your pan, babe. You need you some butter in your pan. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up to like seven or so. I'm gonna actually put a little bit more butter and wipe the butter off my hands. Y'all, I got in a car accident two days ago and my finger, it's in pain. Look at it, look at it, the whole nail ripped off. Focus. Y'all see that? Y'all see that little red dot at the top? It hurt as if I was just like stabbed or something. Like it hurts worse than a paper cut, okay? It hurts. I'm in pain. I don't understand why is it that when I get in car accidents, all I do is break a nail. What kind of godliness? I got a good coating of butter in my pan. I, it's still butter in the pan. That doesn't matter. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my patties in. I'm only making four today. Sometimes I make five. I'm just gonna remix the concoction real quick. Cause some of the uh, egg juice started pulling at the bottom. I'm gonna get me about a good little handful of it. And I'm gonna just, that guy, just like that. I could actually use a little bit more. Bow, bow, 
bow, bow, bow. And now I got me a patty, put it in there. Patty number two, bow, bow, bow. Put it in there. Patty number three, bow, bow, bow. Put it in there. Last, but certainly, certainly not least, patty number four. I also like doing them in four patties because I don't like cooking in batches at all. I do not like cooking in batches. Um, like when you have to make one little thing of bacon, you can only make five pieces of bacon at a time, and you gotta. I hate cooking in batches. It's just so annoying. We're all done. These should be just about done. The rice should be done. By the way, I'm just cooking for me and my boyfriend. So if I eat off the spoon, it's because I can. Get me some butter in my rice. And that's it for the rice. I'm going to move it off. Oh, well, you can see it right there. I'm actually going to move this back to this eye. Now, this is what we look at like. I'm going to give them just a little bit more time before I flip them. But the bottom is like completely solidified before I turn them. So you see, that's what they look like after their first turn. And I'm gonna come back to you with the finished product. Also, boom, bow. This is the finished product. I put, it's a lot of noise. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it smack every time. Tell them. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Tell them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why are you having me on the camera? <laughs> you, you was literally just <laughs> pistol shooting me. <laughs> without, without my face. Tell him, yeah. It's good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. What's good? It's good. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, yeah. So I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. See you next Wednesday. Bye. Bye.